Bullying is happening everywhere all the time, isn't it? We have structured the world in such a way, at least the commercial forces on the planet constantly telling you, you are exclusive. And once we breed this exclusiveness, bullying is natural. This has to change, but that's not going to change overnight. That needs lots of work on humanity. Sadhguru, there is a lot of violence going on in the world now. And even my daughter was doing a paper on bullying in schools. So I found myself wanting to be able to explain to her what the source of violence is, and I wasn't too good at it. Uh, so I was wondering if you could speak to that, and then what somebody like myself could do to assist in the schools to help. See, if they do not train in school, how will they live in this world which is full of bullying anyway? The more powerful are always bullying the less powerful, whether it is in the… in the form of nations or in the fam form of communities or in the form of individual human beings. Bullying is happening everywhere all the time, isn't it? We have structured the world in such a way, if you don't learn to bully enough, at least uh, in the society's eyes, you don't get anywhere. Either your bullying is crude just on the strength of your muscle or it is in subtle ways. But bullying is happening all over the place, I want you to understand. The world, the international situation is not any different from the street corner. Just the way, the same way, isn't it? The strong lean on the weak in so many ways. It is still a caveman's world of survival of the fittest, conducted in a more cunning manner, not straightforward. So, the way the world runs right now is just by bullying. So, we're producing leaders in the school. Those who bully well could become leaders tomorrow. Yes? So, as a part of this, now we are in the process of starting a Asia Leadership Academy. Of course, it will have a basic MBA program, but the more important vision for this is to develop leaders on all levels, a housewife. Maybe we'll have a weekend management and leadership course for her. Because anybody who can Im impact five, ten people is a leader. Maybe a local small-time vegetable vendor, he every day meets at least fifty hundred people. So maybe we'll have a week-long management course for him and a leadership course for him. Because we have not produced the right kind of leaders. Bullies are considered leaders, compassionate human beings. Co people with larger vision about humanity are not considered leaders, they are considered philosophers in this world. They are dismissed off as visionaries. This has to change, but that's not going to change overnight. That needs lots of work on humanity, on individual human beings. General statements, slogans on the street will not help. It needs pointed work on individual human being. There has not been enough infrastructure to do that kind of work. So this is another thing we're doing now. All this that we're building here is infrastructure for an inclusive consciousness, which has never been done in these parts of the world. And in the East it was done plenty in the past, but nothing in the last few hundred years. Because this infrastructure is completely missing 
and in most parts of the world that for a human being to become a full-fledged, blossomed human being, there is no infrastructure. There's lots of infrastructure for survival, a lot. So bullying is essentially, children are doing it because they perceive that's how the world works. Everybody is using whatever power they have to beat down somebody else. People are not using the power they have to uplift somebody. Even if they uplift somebody, there is a string attached that they can pull you down any time they want. Nobody wants to… wants you to be a hydrogen balloon, lose, let you loose and say, rise. They have a string attached to it. For this we need a powerful non-sectarian spiritual process to liberate people like that so that every human being can blossom in his own way. He need not be my way or your way, he can blossom in his own way as long as he's inclusive as life is. Life is inclusive. Inclusiveness is not an ideology. Inclusiveness is not some kind of a philosophy. Inclusiveness is the way of life. The existence is happening out of, his out of its inclusiveness, not out of exclusiveness. Not a single atom can exist here exclusively, even to retain your form. And you being exclusive is ridiculous. But the whole world is, at least the commercial forces on the planet, constantly telling you, you are exclusive, isn't it? <laughs> and once we breed this exclusiveness, bullying is natural. Bullying is not just because somebody is evil. Once exclusiveness is bred, bullying is natural. Inclusiveness is the only answer. Inclusiveness, not in terms of I love you, you love me, just clearly seeing life that it's an inclusive process, experientially seeing it's all inclusive, there is no other way to be. <laughs>